Early this morning, Melbourne time, the Australian-born Mary Donaldson became Queen of Denmark as her husband Frederick replaced his mother to become King Frederick X. They sealed it with a kiss in front of a crowd estimated 100,000. The Queen got the king got quite emotional, wiped away a tear, and he promised Danes to do what kings should do, unite. Er blev en samlende konge af i morgen. Det er en opgave, jeg har nærmet mig hele mit liv. Det er et ansvar, jeg tager på mig med respekt, stolthed og stor glæde. And I see many Australians, especially Tasmanians, loving the idea that even one of us can rise to royalty. Good luck to her. Good on her. Good, good on her. Good on her. Yeah. Good on her. Oh, it's wonderful. Finally, an Australian on a throne somewhere. She seems quite at home there in the role. She's been there for a while. I mean, she's conducts herself very well. She's got a lovely family. I'm sure she'll be just fine. It's very special. Yes, yeah, it's very. very. It's a proud moment for Australia, but especially for Tasmanians. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Yes. It's fabulous. What makes it so special? Oh, because she's just Aussie. She's gorgeous too. So, yeah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, no, it's wonderful news, yeah. She's a lovely person, so I'm happy for them both, yeah. You know, looking at Mary grow from a young Australian who met her prince in a Sydney pub into the very polished, discreet and regal woman she is today, I love how people can actually grow into the highest roles. Come the hour, come the woman. And another thing, you know, seeing how many Australians love having an Australian Queen tells me again that people who say royalty is dead and a republic inevitable, they're wrong. Joining me is Danish journalist and foreign correspondent Jesper Steinmetz. Jesper, thank you so much for your time again. Look, your thoughts on this coronation, which had, which had some pomp, yes, but was very much more relaxed and ex much, much shorter than the coronation last year of King Charles. Well, yes, thank God it was shorter, <laughs> uh, I would say. Um, <laughs> I, I, I do think that, that Danes uh, found it uh, full of pomp uh, and circumstances. Uh, they, they, this is very much in line with uh, Danish tradition, and in that respect, it was very moving. And you also heard the audience, uh, hundreds of thousands of people from all over the country, all over the world, uh, really, who had uh, traveled to Copenhagen to, to celebrate the proclamation of uh, the new king. So this was the Danish way of doing it. And it's very interesting. In Denmark, we don't actually compare our royal family to the British one. Uh, we're very, or most Danes are very content with uh, what we have and are very pleased that, um, that, the, that, that the Danish family uh, don't have the same scandals, the, the, the same amount of scandals as the British one has. Oh, yes, but I've got to pull you up on that, don't I? I mean, uh, Frederick had a reputation as a playboy uh, in his, you know, before he met Mary, of course, who put him on the right track. But then there were rumours of an affair in Spain last year. Now, may, you know, I guess he's sown his wild oats and all that, but is this a man that's going to make a good king? Well, time will show. And, and uh, as to his playboy image, I think most Danes would say, well, it only makes him human. And it's... It again speaks to the quality and perfection of Queen Mary, uh, what she has contributed with, uh, you know, after she came into his life. You know, he's less of a playboy than he was before he met her. Well, speaking of her, what role do you expect she will play here? What, what is she going to bring to the job? I think she's already shown what she's bringing uh, to the job and to the position. I mean, she's perfected her role as crown princess. She doesn't put a foot wrong, really. Um, and it's very clear that after they met, uh, she has... I, that, that's my interpretation, at least. She has uh, reminded him of, um, of the position he holds and that it's not a given... Uh, that the royal family and the monarch is popular. It's up to him, it's up to them. And she has definitely also made sure that he comes to visits, he comes to events uh, much better prepared than he did before. Uh, before uh, he met Mary, uh, he often had the image of a crown prince who, who didn't really care about the job, who sometimes not showed up late, but maybe had been out partying the night before and wasn't really able to give the speech uh, that he was supposed to or, 
or maybe hadn't even read it before he was giving the speech, after she has arrived in his life and in our lives in Denmark, uh, it's very clear that uh, he, as crown prince and now king, is much better prepared and takes his role and position much more seriously than he, he did before. And that's all thanks to Mary. Jesper Steinmetz, a tribute to the power of marriage as well. Pick a good woman and you too can be king. That might be the real, a good king. That might be the real message here. Thank you so much indeed for your time. Really appreciate it.